So here are the parts of the knife. There are many types of knife cuts. And it is important that you know the various types of cuts in the cooking environment. So today, I'm gonna teach you the different types of basic knife cuts. And my name is Ivan Lunella Camila, so let's get started. So first is chiffonade. Chiffonade is mainly used for vegetable leaves and fresh herbs, in particular basil. The leaves are stuck, rolled, and then sliced vertically, creating thin strips. Next is Julian. The Julian. The Julian technique allows you to cut foods into long, thin matchsticks like pieces. This is a cutting style that is normally used for zucchini, carrots, celery, and capsicum. But it can be used on virtually any type of vegetable. The cut measures 116 by 116 by 1 to 2 inches. Brunoa. This particular technique will allow you to fine dice vegetables and fruit. Normally, the food is cross cut and then sliced across the sticks in order to create fine cubes. Foods that are commonly Brunoa include are turnips, onions, and carrots. This cut measures 1 8 by 1 8 by 1 8 inch. So, next is patune. Patune. The batone, pronounced batone, is basically creating a rectangular stick that measures one half inch by one half inch by two and one half to three inches. It is also the starting point for another cut, the medium die. Dicing. And there are three types of dice. The small, medium, large dice. Dicing. In dicing, there are three types of dice. The small, medium, and large dice. The small dice measures one fourth by one fourth by one fourth inch. And the medium dice measures one third by one third by one third inch. And the large dice measures 3 fourth by 3 fourth by 3 fourth inch. Alumet. The alumet is measuring one fourth by one fourth by two and a half to three inches. The alumet is sometimes referred to as the matchstick cut. It also the starting point for the small dice. So next is Python. Python. The Pisan cut consists in slices about 1 mm thick. It is useful for soups or creams in some aromatic preparation and it is good for garnishing. Next is tomato 
quarters. Tomato quarters. This could be done usually in tomato, cutting the round vegetables into four cuts of lengthwise motion. Next is round cut. Round cut. Round cut. This is simply cutting around vegetables to form circles. Next is the half moon cut. Half moon. This cut is cutting of round vegetables into half and cut them to form semicircles. So next is the rolling cut. Rolling cut. This is a common technique that is used to cut long fruit and vegetables, such as zucchini and carrots. Using this technique will allow you to make more attractive pieces while exposing more of the food surface. So next is the crushed garlic and minced garlic. Crushed garlic. This could be done by crushing garlic lightly with the flat of a knife and the heel of your hand while minced garlic could be done by chopping garlic into small pieces. Wedges. This cut is commonly seen in the case of apple, lemon, and other citrus fruits. So next is thorn. Thorn cut. This is an oblong shape of vegetables such as carrots, potatoes, and other hard vegetables. the basic types of knife cuts. I hope you learned something and enjoy. Peace out.